I'm sure, um, I'm sure they'll look back on that and think, should we give him another chance, give him a rematch? But that, that'll, be, uh, uh, that'll be his argument. Um, uh, but I just think at, at some point, uh, he, uh, he was trying to milk the elbow. I know the elbow had landed, I know it landed solid, but he rolled the shot. Looked, thought about it, look at that, down. And even when he's down, he looks up at the referee, then decides to roll over. So you're thing. not buying it? I'm not buying it. You do that in football. You don't do this in boxing. Not in that sport. <laughs> you don't do that in boxing. That's just not... Nah, it's not. We just don't do that. It's well, just out. They don't make contact in football. At least they make contact. Well, that's what I'm saying. And, and so when he rolled over, I'm thinking, come on, you milk it, son. I know you're hurt, but do not stay down there because you're not hurt enough. Get up. You, you can get away with that rolling around 15 times in football, but not arguing. What do you reckon, Adam? Ruthless, Johnny. He, OK, so he did milk it, but the fact of the matter is that whether him. he milked it or not, that blatant a foul uh, is worthy of a disqualification. It wasn't like a, a, an accidental low blow or a, a punch that strayed, strayed a bit down and you take a point off or you grab someone's elbow and twist it and you get, get a point taken off. If you ran across the ring and did a flying headbutt on someone, it's an immediate disqualification. And that elbow was closer to being a flying headbutt than it was a low blow. Right, boom, that's it, stand, that's look, it. stand, look. And now what you're looking, look back up at the referee. OK, let's lay down. <laughs> ouch, ouch, I'm knocked out, cold. See, I'm and only he... talking about the elbow. I get what you're saying, yeah. he milked it. But just watch this, right? He knew where he is and he knows what he's doing. And it, I like Marius Breedus and I like what he said after. He said, that's my tie... Maybe I had too many tie boxing fights and his instinct kicked in. I thought so, the, so, referee made, the referee made an absolute hash of that, that whole situation. Yeah, so that, that was down to the referee to like take control yeah. of this situation here. And even at the point where they were boxing fight after the bell, it was like the referee was skipping double dutch thinking, is it my turn to jump in yet? You know, he was too scared to get involved and say, separate well, boys. Well, when Morris Beans was asked the question, though, did you hear the bell? He just smiled and laughed and said, yes, I, I did. Think, I think the referee was the only person that didn't hear the yeah. bell. You, you're told to punch until the keep punching until the referee says stop. It's done, and, and especially like sometimes even when a bell goes, if, you, if there's an exchange, you let it go because you want to be the one that finishes the argument. So what should the ref have done differently? Oh, well, initially, initially, that the elbow was at least a two-point deduction or a disqualification. But it wasn't. There, there was no way he was going to disqualify Marius Breeders in Riga. Mm. So let's move past that one. Um, the referee should have been able to hear the bell. It's like Glovaki suffered quite a lot in a very short space of time, from the elbow to the trade-up after the bell. And we counted it. It was nine seconds yeah. after the bell went that he ended up getting dropped. The fight had fallen out of him. Uh, and now these two here, uh, and, and, uh, you know, I actually said before, uh, I actually said before that... Um, well, these, these are our two uh, finalists here, yeah, 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 Freelis uh, Dorticus. The Dorticus. I thought, Dort I, before, off-camera, I said to you, Adam, you know, I see Dorticus beating him, but then you reminded me about the complacency of, 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 of skilled Cuban fighters once all of a sudden they, they get complacent. He was complaining halfway through his own fight and he was on top. So what's he going to do when the pressure's on him uh, here? Well, he tried, I, think, I think he tried to hustle the win when he got the accidental headbutt. Yeah. I think he thought he was ahead and tried to hustle the win after six rounds. And, and that's an issue in character. Yes. When, now, uh, when you're ahead on, and you're doing that, I thought, again, you think, ah, that's a chink in your character. The Cuban fighters that defect kind of go one way or the other, right? Now, he's, he's made the money from the quarter and he's made the money from the semi-final and he's won, had the win bonuses mm. and he's already secured the money for the final, win, lose or draw. And I just wonder whether his, his character will show through and some laziness, lazy, laziness and complacency will show through. So do you think when the pressure's on, if the pressure's on, in their fight, do you think he's more, more likely to say, I want out of here, or look for, look for a way out? I think Marius Bredis is a wrong for him. He's durable, clever, strong, he's got a good work rate. He lost a split decision to Usyk, mm. so he's got grade. I think Marius Bredis is all wrong for Dortikos. Before we move on, let's just clear up the aftermath from that fight. Obviously, originally this fight, not just for a place in the final, it was the vacant WBC Cruiserweight title and the WBO title, which was held by Gravatsky. We know that the officials couldn't agree, so it ended up being for no titles. But with Gravatsky losing, he held that WBO title. Where does that leave us? Well, I think the sanctioning bodies will decide what they want to do. We don't <laughs> know what they did and didn't agree on. We don't know no the, titles, the full so detail. They complain to? But then I saw on the bandages that the bandages were signed WBO. The downside for Glavotsky, if he wants to put a complaint, if there was no title at stake, who's he going to complain to? 
Is he going to play into the World Boxing Super Series? Because they're not going to have their biggest cash cow in Latvia get <laughs> stuck back into a rematch. I hope, so I, think it's gonna... I hope common sense kicks in and the governing bodies. This Super Series is a great series to see the best fight the best. If all of a sudden the WBC, WBI, IBF all start saying we're not playing, we're out here, it just makes a mockery of it. You've got the best box and the best. I hope common sense kicks in. Uh, because they don't do themselves any favours when, when situations like this happen. If their champion loses, gets knocked out, and all of a sudden said, well, it wasn't for our title, it just mm. makes a mockery of, of the whole system. So who wins the final then? Uh, I'm going Bredis. I, I, after our conversation, I thought, well, you're right, I, I'm going Bredis. I, I think, uh, I think he's, he's just a bit of a handful. Um, yes. Character. Bredis.